We met the owner of Morgana in Portofino many years ago and uh, I met him uh, together with his captain and since then uh, we engaged uh, in a relationship. Uh, he was enjoying uh, already his uh, custom uh, FAR 72 and uh, it was immediately clear to us uh, that his focus was mainly for uh, a new custom, it was not for uh, any boat uh, that could be developed out of an um, existing design platform. His, um, his ideas were clear and his expectations were vivid. So they were the grounds for a good uh, uh, custom uh, process, uh, normal custom process. Under these circumstances uh, and with these uh, ideas in mind, uh, the owner engaged uh, Nauta Yacht Design for the general design brief. And they started developing the general design brief uh, and uh, they decided uh, to um, organize a, a competition between uh, naval architects to define which naval architect would be the best for this project. And Raquel Pug won uh, against other prominent uh, naval architects. Then they developed the specifications and with the specification they organized a proper bidding package for the yards. And we were invited to compete against our most respected competitors specializing in custom yachts. When South Wind approached the bidding phase, decided to offer a very proactive attitude. And we decided deliberately not to, to limit ourselves to quote on the specification that was designed by the designer and by the owner representative, but we decided to offer on the table uh, alternatives whenever we thought that we could add value. We thought and we were strong our ideas on some of the systems and some of the solutions and we, we defended our ideas with the aim of offering well-tested and well-measured solutions. This obviously found a good balance with all the innovations that the owner and his team brought on the table. We like to believe that with Morgana we did not build a custom only, we built an efficient custom. We rate the word efficient a lot. Efficiency is very important in the process, it's very important in the technology that we apply on board. With the construction, with the design of Morgana, there was a very good cooperation between the designer, the project manager and the yard in finding the best balance between what is innovation and what is a well-proven technology. This balance offers efficiency and Morgana represents for Southwind a further step in the development of the yard and, um, and endorse our positioning. So I think we, we built an efficient custom. started uh, back in uh, uh, 2017. Uh, I've been a uh, uh, friend of the owner since uh, uh, many, many years. Uh, we, <clears throat> let's say we grew together at school times and uh, <clears throat> he, he contacted us at a certain point to talk about uh, a new dream. Uh, so we started to, to collect ideas, discuss, and it was very clear from the very beginning the level of demand. Well, this is my ideal boat, I say, because I, I love racing, I like performance. I think performance is also efficiency and safetyness when you get in tough weather because you can escape and control. Uh, so this is really one of the best cocktail mixture of all the ingredients. Our role as designers has uh, quite a bit of psychological skills to try to understand what the client's taste is, in which way, you know, what kind of atmosphere I want to create. So, in this case also was quite a nice and interesting process. Uh, I'm very happy of the result. It's, it's a, a really nice balance between uh, marine uh, 
ambient atmosphere, but interpreted in a, in a modern way, not minimalist, but modern. Our strong belief is that a yacht should have a warm atmosphere, a kind of warmness and coziness, even in a modern language or context. The design um, of the Morgana um, was a collaboration between ourselves and Nauta Yachts in Milan. Reichel Pugh was responsible for the naval architecture and uh, Nauta for um, the total exterior and interior design. You know. And it was a relatively long process. We actually started off with a shorter boat um, and the boat got extended a couple of times to accommodate the, you know, the owner's vision. Um, as he really understood what he wanted and it eventually became 100 feet. You know, so it was a fairly lengthy process, which is um, fairly typical when you're designing a boat of this size. In the development, a number of different lines plans, which we ran through CFD programs you know, and VPP programs to maximize uh, the performance of the boat and also the sea keeping of the boat which was very important to the client um, as he was going to do a lot of uh, blue water cruising. Uh, the boat features um, a fairly narrow beam water line, which when the boat's upright, you know, light air performance is excellent and quite a bit of um, flair in the middle of the boat for, you know, heeled stability. So that the boat, when the boat is power reaching and running and upwind in a breeze, it's got plenty of stability. We have incorporated a small amount of V in the forward sections of the hull. This reduces slamming and provides comfort in the seaway. The high aspect center line rudder is an efficient lifting surface contributing to upwind performance while also providing excellent helm control. The sloop rig uses a single center line backstay for cruising but can be switched to twin backstays for racing with a square top mainsail. Flying sails are tacked to the bowsprit to increase the projection of these sails and provide excellent offwind performance. The Reichel Few team is very pleased to see the launch of Morgana. We'd like to thank the owner for the opportunity to participate in this amazing project. The brief for, uh, from the owner was to have a, a light performance boat that can go sailing around the world, but can also perform in the best regattas around the world. In terms of achieving sailing performance, to make, to make sure that we are the most efficient while sailing, we save weight high up on the boat and at the extremities. So the deck is made of prepared carbon Nomex, so are the extremity bulkheads. That allows us to save weight at the extremities to improve on the sailing performance of the boat. The lifting keel on this boat, we go 6.1 meter keel down. We wanted to save every kilo we could. So we worked closely with Gurit to have a semi-cylindrical keel head. That saved, compared to a normal boat, about 600 kilos, right bang in the middle of the boat. You can see in the front that the boat is fitted with a removable bar sprit. Now, the concept of this bar sprit is different than normal in the sense that you can control from the back of the boat, you can control a system that will tension automatically the tack of the sail. The furler is fitted with a lock on top and with a jeep cleaning gun at the bottom to be able to precisely adjust the tension on the left of the sail. In the front, you can see as well that there is no visible anchor. That is because the anchor is totally hidden underwater. That allows us as well to move all the chain further aft in the sail locker. Again, trying to center the mass as much as we can to, inc to increase performance while sailing. That is all controlled from a, a small locker on the deck. From the back of the boat, you can see on the pedestal with a camera where, where your anchor is and how it's pulling. The mooring system when you're at the dock, it's basically it's an underdeck mooring system. So you have two Panama that are in the front that are, allow you to actually moor the boat on the dock. Because the boat wants to be competitive while racing, we fitted the boat with a transverse jeep track system that can be controlled from the pit position there at the back and you're controlling the transverse position of the shooting point and the height as well. It's all hydraulic and you control it from the push buttons there at the back. 
The boat is fitted with a carbon mast and carbon rigging in a hybrid modulus. From the water, the mast is about it's close to 50 meters above waterline. When you go racing, the boat is set up with a square top main. So you're controlling that square top mainsail with a running backstay system at the back with the two secondary winches. And it's all controlled with a cylinder in the bilge to control the deflection of this running backstay system to control exactly the shape of the mast that you want to achieve. All over the boat, you can see the boat is fitted with all titanium fittings, titanium stanchions that are custom made, titanium paddies with custom design and custom make them, titanium cleats also custom made. The deck is fitted with two cockpits, one forward, one aft. The forward one is typically used by the owner when cruising. The aft one is mostly for the crew to actually operate the boat uh, when cruising. Obviously when racing, all this beautiful stuff get packed away. <laughs> you have the race, the race crew jumping from one side to the other. To center the mass again, we've got lockers here which house the life raft locker and a storage locker symmetry to it. Moving back, you can see the aft island where the crew comes in and out. The purpose of it is not to disturb the owner when they're on board. From the steering pedestal, you can control pretty much everything around the boat in terms of sailing operation. You can control your mainsail, your vang, your outhaul, your Cunningham, your backstay. You can furl the sails, you can control the jib system. You could basically control the whole boat. You can see that the back of the boat, the transom area is actually very wide because since we're talking about a very powerful hull shape, the, we're gaining stability from the width of the transom. That allowed us to actually have a very wide transom door that is housing the tender garage inside. And from there, you can access all the equipment that you find at the back in terms of water makers. But it's also a lot of storage for all the food on delivery and all the equipment that you need. Southern Wind and Nauta Yachts have had a long-standing relationship delivering super yachts. And I think this custom Morgana is really testament to that relationship. The clean lines and choice of finishes and details have really resulted in a bold and unique interior, which I think is appropriate for this custom 100. The construction draws from Southern Wind's years of experience delivering lightweight paper and foam core interiors. It was quite important to us that even while using every technique at our disposal, that we delivered it an interior that was rich and ultimately felt safe. Here we are in the owner's cabin. It's the forward-most cabin on this yacht. This offers the owner the best privacy and ultimately a peaceful stay on board. As there, most of the sailing activity takes place in the aft cockpit, so there's little need for the crew moving around on deck directly above this cabin. The layout of the cabin is fairly typical of a Ford owner arrangement with the queen size bunk, sofa and generous locker space. Here we see the general styling that makes this yacht unique. We have the tapered bunks that allow for a maximized floor area but still gives you that full size bunk. Here we can see a typical detail of how we've tried to maximize the interior space. We've pushed the volumes as far outboard as possible and as a result, the ceiling curves down a little on sheer line and the floorboards curve a little bit up as we come towards the hull side. It turned out to be a convenient detail as it's allowed us to conceal the lighting and the air conditioning here on sheer line. The owner's head is fairly generous and allows enough space for a separate loo and bidet. Here we've used our favorite sheer design taps and D-line stainless steel accessories. Both of these are in keeping, I think, with the, the slim sections of the other lightweight details on the yacht. There are two guest cabins on board, one forward of the saloon, one aft, and they both have twin bunks and ensuite heads. This brings the total guest accommodation up to six. I particularly like the saloon of this yacht. The space itself is fairly typical in its arrangement with dining, lounge and TV lounge area, all flowing one into the other. There's a host of features here that makes this special though. Right here in the center of the ceiling, we have a large skylight, which allows in much more natural light than we would generally see on such a sleek coach roof. To add to that, the ceiling bends up against the coach roof to allow a little sliver of light down the sides, as much natural light as possible. I particularly like these saloon tables. 
They really are beautiful. It was quite a challenge on our part to build these. They're such slender pieces of freestanding furniture, but they had to be light and super strong. All of Southern Wind's lightweight hulls are built out of carbon fiber, and that's drawn in through this interior in repeated carbon details, which we see on things like treads, grab rails, we see it on the saloon tables, and in the carbon countertops in the heads. As is typical of a southern wind, the crew quarters are aft. This door here separates the guests and the crew accommodation, offering both some valuable privacy on a working boat. Here we see the generous crew mess and a well-equipped galley. And I particularly enjoy this feature of the self-draining barazza trays, allowing a bit of green if you choose. These stainless steel sinks are custom made and are extra specially deep so that they can accommodate the pasta pots. The crew mess is an open plan to the working galley, which allows for quite a social environment here aft. Also part of this space is the nav station. The nav station is directly accessible from the working cockpit via this aft companionway, which also serves as the crew entrance when the yacht has guests on board. So the crew can really run the whole boat from the aft area without interrupting the guest experience forward. Through here you have the engine room. It's quite amazing how we managed to actually have such a tall engine room inside a ship that has a shell line very low. And the idea was basically to offset the engine room to one side of the boat. To do that, we kept this, the engine on the center line. We have two light generators on starboard. And to, and to make sure the, to balance the weight, we have all the batteries on the other side of the boat. So we managed to keep the boat balanced, yet achieving a very spacious engine room, full height uh, and very efficient. Right at the back here, we have two crew cabins, accommodating four crew in total. The port cabin is the captain's cabin, being slightly more generous with an ensuite head. From his bunk, he has a clear view of the nav station, and through the door, quick access out that aft companionway to the sailing cockpit. The experience of the construction of Morgana has been very good, with all parties involved fulfilling their role from the owner, the designers, the yard, and the owner team in general. Southern Wind stand normally built uh, semi-custom yachts, and uh, for them this was the second project uh, custom. And they shown a very good flexibility in terms of design and, and approach. We proposed some different solutions compared to the standard of the yard and they embraced the proposal and uh, actually developed further to a very good uh, standard. I'm very pleased, first of all, for the great opportunity to add Southern Wind's signature to such an amazing project. Morgana really ticks all the boxes. Style, performance, comfort, and cutting edge technology. I must say it's just an experience to be at the helm of Morgana sailing at 16, 18 knots and feeling completely in control. She is powerful and balanced. Morgana is an amazing super yacht. I wish the owner a very thrilling experience at the helm and memorable times on board of it.